Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In the previous video we got a whole bunch of stuff around Gilly to facilitate fulfilling some contracts related to Gilly and Eve stuff, uh, like transferring any crew between vessels near Eve, building this orbital station around Eve, which requires three pilots, and uh, also getting the tourists back. So those were the primary things. But I've noticed this other contract, not that one, uh, this one, that says that we should expand our Gilly station around Gilly. Now, this could work given what we've got on the the Eve station that we put around Gilly for some reason, uh, in order to transfer the tourists for, primarily. Um, the only problem is this 4,000 units of liquid fuel in the station. I don't think we have that much. So let's take a look at the station. I mean, uh, the question is if we have that much all together. If everything came together, would we have 4,000? Gilly Station itself has 365. I think we've got two pilots on board the... Well, I, I will have to check. We, we need two more pilots. We only have two on the Gilly Station itself. But 4,000 units of liquid fuel is a lot. And I don't think we have that much remaining. We, I mean, we have 1,415. It's not too far off, uh, especially since we got that extra fuel module and everything. Uh, we do have two pilots here. So it's really a matter of the liquid fuel. Now, what else do we have around here? We had some other vehicles. So that's the Gilly Station. There's the Eve Transfer Vehicle. This doesn't have much fuel at all. It sucks because, I mean... We're close, but we're just not close enough. If we could get some more fuel over. I wonder when the next EVE transfer window is. Let's just zoom out. Eh, it's not going to be for a while. I want to fulfill the contracts. But, you know what? Uh, by the time we get to the next EVE transfer window, maybe we'll be able to get the ISRU units unlocked. And then our that expansion to the station could be with the ISRU units. Uh, so drilling and uh, resource uh, conversion. So ore conversion. I'm not planning a flag on Eve. <laughs> but we'll pick this up just in case we can do it as an expansion later on. Even though I don't really want to have four pilots on there. Maybe we'll have Val and uh, the other pilot hang around Eve until then so that we can just move them over. Okay, but let's get uh, people over to the Eve station and then we'll see what we can do from there. So we have this Eve transfer vehicle. Currently a Gilly transfer vehicle. And we need to grab the tourists and another pilot. Okay, we've got a separation of 1.3 kilometers there. I've sort of made this adjustment here, um, mostly correcting the inclination. Okay, rendezvous burn. And right there we should have communication. Here, Gilly might block us. Not to mention our electric charge is going away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Electric charge should be recharging. We just need to pirouette a bit. Okay, well, we're close enough to begin mean docking operations, which means RCS. Okay, that looks nice and parallel to the port, hopefully. Okay, very nice. We didn't even put the... Oh, those are spark engines, not lights. <laughs> I thought they were lights for a sec there. And we hadn't put them on, but nope, they're engines. Okay, so, transfer crew, no crew in part, transfer crew, uh, that, that window is too low, what, I can't, I can't transfer crew if they're down there, gosh darn it, okay, Barbus is a tourist, well, let's transfer Barbus first. There's too much stuff here, we need to be able to shrink, win uh, well, I can shrink the B Barbus Kerman here. And Mittop Kerman, that'll help. And Mittop Kerman is also a tourist, so Mittop Kerman has to go in here. And then we have to pick either Chadman or Murpont. 
Murpont is sort of at the pinnacle of this. Chadman is in the more awkward position, I feel. So Chadman transfers into that. So that we can get three pilots on the EVE station, you see. Okay, so we've done that. They're all in here. Barbus, uh, Mittop, and Chadman. And Undock. So now there's just Murpont in the Gilly station. Okay, so now we have to get back to Eve Mega Station. I'm just gonna try and do an off plane transfer to make it quick. Okay, well, that's 1.5 kilometers and we've got an encounter there. It's awkward though. We're gonna have to do the correction pretty quickly once we get there, but it's only 12 meters per second, so. Okay, so even though it's only part of an orbit, it's still three hours because all orbits around Gilly take a long time. Okay, we are in render range. So this little transfer vehicle has done its thing. No problems. And we are approaching, and which docking port would be nicest? I think, well, we'll, uh, well, technically they'd have to crawl through all sorts of tanks in order to get to their seats if we docked on that one. So we'll dock on this one. Now we don't want to keep this transfer vehicle with this station because when the station uses its engines, it's going to have this thing off to the side and it's going to have to use... Uh, if we're lucky, a lot of reaction will power and maybe even RCS to keep it steady and gimbling. But if we're unlucky, it won't be able to control it at all. So we'll just have them go their separate ways. Okay, so that's stocked. And ultimately we want them up in the command pod. So transferring especially the tourists. That part is full. Well, it would be actually. So what we want to do is transfer... Transfer? Okay, uh, let's cancel that. Transfer... Bob... Oh, I didn't want to EVA Bob. Sorry. These menus, I need to shrink everything. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Now, transfer... Tra Ugh, everything's off screen. Um, transfer to the science lab. That was Ornard. I didn't want Ornard in the science lab. I wanted Bob in the science lab. Okay, command pod over here, please. Transfer to science lab. We'll probably bring Val back with the tourists. But, I mean, I guess we have to bring somebody back with the tourists, because there's no... Uh, I guess there is a core up there, but still. Okay, now you can go up there. And mid-top can go up there. Alright, so our two tourists are up in the command pod with Val. And we have one remaining pilot, Chadman, who can be in the cupola here. Okay. So now we have all the peoples that we need. Yes, it's checkmarked everything. We just need to get this back into orbit around EVE, and that'll qualify for that. But then we need to transfer any crew between vessels near EVE. So um, I guess we'll have this go out into EVE orbit as well, and then we'll transfer somebody from the station back into that, and that will do. But it says near EVE, so that's the problem. Does that That probably means that we have to be in a low orbit, which we will not be initially. And then it's just a matter of bringing the tourists back. Now, we don't have any fuel up here because we drained all that. Uh, we need to top that off and judge how much Delta V we have left. Oh gosh, that resource transfer is slow. Well, that doesn't take too much out of our fuel down here. Okay, 
so first things first, let's get this off. Undock. And make sure that nothing has changed about our viability in terms of fulfilling that contract. And let's have that back off a little bit more. Let's do the magnetometer, maybe that's uh, before we leave, you know. Yeah, that's this new, uh, let's put it in the lab, 202 data. So we can get that going. I don't know if there's any other data here. Um, it's is it worth doing a crew report? No. Oh, I guess we can still process it in the lab. We could have brought all the other signs, probably. Let's have uh, Val do an EVA. EVA report. Keep forward. And that can be in the lab? Yes. So we've got 260 signs in the lab. Let's start research with Bob there. I don't know if Ornard will help or hurt, but <laughs> um, it is what it is. I think that's all. We didn't carry any additional instruments. This is a good place if we want to bring our orbit low in, uh, near Eve because we're close to the apoapsis. Okay, we don't have to do all of this at the same time though. Let's just barely get out into Eve SOI first. At least in principle we can get it done. So, um, Prograde. Actually, it's better to do this now rather than later. This thing turns gracefully. Once it loses the command pod, though, it's not going to turn very well at all. I mean, we could have done near Gilly and a whole bunch of other Gilly signs, but I'm not belaboring that right now. We'll have other opportunities to stuff the science lab with other things. Okay, we, we're already... Good. So that's Eve. And why don't we get the transfer vehicle? Is it still around? Yeah. We have to get this on escape so that we can transfer things between two vehicles. I hope it'll count this time. I want to get that done. So we just need to go prograde without the RCS. Okay, we have our own orbit around Eve now. Okay, so it's outward bound. We're still in render range, so we can go back to this and follow it. All right, out. Departing Gilly. Okay, that should be us in Eve orbit. And we have fulfilled the contract for build new orbital station around Eve. So now we just need to transfer crew between any vessels near Eve. I'm going to assume within 250 kilometers will do, but we have to have some buffer. It's going to take some, uh, some time. Okay, so 200 meters per second we have, it seems. And then the little transfer vehicle is going to try and rendezvous with this. However, it needs to do that, What whatever delta V it needs to take. Okay, a little bit lower than I was initially planning. All right. So back to the little transfer vehicle. I mean, it's obviously easier to encounter it right now than over there, but we need to encounter it over there. 1.4 kilometers. I think that's all I'm going to do there. We already passed the node, so it's probably not accurate or anything. It's 9 kilometers. Well, when we get closer, we'll figure it out. Right now, they're both safe. So we'll focus on what we've got and work with it. Okay, well, let's start working on our approach to EVE Mega Station, even though it's awkward because we're getting very close to EVE itself. Does that seem to help? Not really. Again, because we're our orbit is very curved right now. I think we're just going to have to force the issue and try and go fast towards it kind of thing. Not the best thing. But we've got the Delta V. 
So we are near Eve. These are two vessels. They were launched separately. They did briefly meet before, but that shouldn't matter in theory. And we're gonna have a Kerbal EVA out to this. I trust that that will do. Okay. Uh, let's make sure we're drifting away. Slowly. Alright, so now we will get Chadman, our spare pilot, who's not working in the research lab, to EVA and transfer over to the other thing. Grab and board. That's under 250 kilometers. Okay, yes, we got the Explorer Eve contract done. We transferred any crew between vessels near Eve. We're just gonna transfer Chadman back. I I don't know, maybe you can just stay here. There's actually no need to move the station on you now. We can just dock this to the station temporarily and leave it all together. So let's target that docking port. We really don't need to have so many things floating around Eve. Okay, and we've docked. So that's all together now. And we need to bring the tourists back. That's the last remaining piece of this puzzle. But that means that we have to wait until the transfer window back. I really, really hope that the burn to return is going to be at the periapsis, but that's no guarantee. Uh, we will be wanting to go out sort of that ways, and Kerbin will be ahead of us. I'll have to recheck that, um, that angle, the phase angle. But maybe I want to take a look at whether there's a transfer to somewhere else before that. Because we're going to be time warping a great deal. Or whether there's a transfer window to EVE, because now we have another contract to expand that Gilly station. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, I'll go to the Space Center temporarily, and we will take a look at things. Okay, seriously though, isn't this contract sort of redundant at this point? I mean, the gall of the contract system to say, have two tourists on the station for a new orbital station that can support nine Kerbals. That has to be a new station. We've got two tourists. I mean, it's not like a normal thing to have tourists. I mean, ah, uh, and they give us this contract. Well, I'm not doing that, so there. Okay, well, it does look like we have a Duna opportunity here before we get an opportunity to bring the Kerbals back from EVE, but I don't think I'm going to take it. Let's quickly take a look at the contracts. We do have some extant Duna-related contracts. Just taking a look at what we have. We need to bring the Duna Stone back still. That's particular. We have to get to one of those biomes. And then we have to get this module from Orbit of Ike, which I seriously want to do with a space plane somehow, I think. Uh, could be interesting, but I want to wait on that and do that in a more sophisticated way than the simplest way I could come up with, which is like a claw and a heat shield. <laughs> so we could, we could grab it. We've done that sort of thing before. We can grab it with a claw that's attached to a heat shield and bring it all the way back to Kerbin, you know. But maybe we want to do something a little bit more sophisticated than that. And that will take some development time. There is bring blueberries on Duna back to Kerbin. And that would be nice if they occurred in some biome that's the same as the Duna Stone. But they don't. They're mutually exclusive biomes it looks like. But we could back it onto the same mission somehow. There are numerous ways of doing that. We could refuel a lander for instance. Have one lander, but just refuel it when it get back, gets back into Duna orbit. And there's also a surface out outpost on Drez mission. We haven't been tasked to make a surface outpost. This is for 12 Kerbals, but we could use the Mark II cabin. So that's a whole other thing. But I figure our, this is like our first Drez mission available, so we should pick it up. I'll take that. I'll take the blueberries. And then there's this asteroid one. I don't think I've seen an asteroid one before. And it's a class C asteroid, which is middle-sized. It goes A through E, and C is middle-sized. 
And we have to get it into orbit of Gilly, which is challenging. But if we have a nuclear reactor plus the ISR units, it's relatively easy. So, but we don't have either of those. So right now we don't have the science for either of those. So maybe I'll hold off on that because that'll be the last, I mean, we could upgrade. I guess we should pick it up. I mean, it's 49 years. Let's just upgrade the building now. I mean, I've held off on it. The only benefit is to increase the number of contracts we can pick up, but we've got so much cash. Let's see, what else can we upgrade? We should upgrade the runway because we're if we're going to eventually do space planes. Uh, we'll stick to the 140 ton limit. That's fine, I think, for now. But I'll upgrade the space plane hangar. Uh, launch pad is upgraded. Tracking station is upgraded. The vehicle assembly building, I would like all the action groups, but I'll wait on that. Well, that's fully upgraded, though. Um, unlimited Kerbals. I, we, we could just keep rescuing Kerbals if we need to. Uh, have there been any Kerbal rescue contracts? I think there have been, but I haven't been picking them up, so they might not give me any more. Next time we get a Kerbal Rescue contract, we better pick it up. Well, for now, I'll leave it be. So, those are the upgrades. I'll think about the rest, because to actually pay for everything, we don't have enough money. We can't blitz it. But, yep, even though I just picked those up, we are going to focus on the EVE situation first, and get that done. I don't think there's any limit to how long we can keep the career going, so might as well take our time. It makes it easier to follow, too, in terms of, you know, I'm thinking of the viewer here. It's easier to understand what the heck is going on if I don't keep jumping from Duna missions to Eve missions to later on, you know, Dres missions and Jewel missions. Just focus on one planet at a time. Supposed to be 36 degrees, uh, uh, Kerbin's supposed to be 36 degrees ahead, so. Mm, I'm just eyeballing it. I think that's okay. Okay, well, now we're gonna find out whether this pod actually has the ability to come back home. Um, it can't redock, which is a significant issue, actually. Well, it's got 1,500 meters per second. That's not bad. And it's the Terrier engine. Let me just make sure that when we stage, it doesn't do anything weird. That's why I put that extra straight stage in. Okay, forward. It doesn't have RCS to redock. We've got the two tourists and Valentina. That is the plan. So now, can we return with 1,500 meters per second? Should be able to, but we're in this weird orbit, so if it's not in the right direction, and it isn't, then that might be a complication. It's in positively the worst situation. We could bring it down first. Let's see. So that's roughly going outward. That's not too bad. We've, that's only 700. Let's make sure it's pointed in the right direction. That. We want it going in the direction of our current orbit around the sun. For it to be maximally efficient. And. There's an encounter. Oh, okay, it's not too bad. 800 will do. We can refine that a little bit after the main burn. I'm sure it'll be off. Oh, uh, we we do we have a solar panel? We we didn't have any solar panels on here. Well, okay. Let me put this on hibernate on. Hmm. It's still taking charge. Well, apparently I've messed up on the power situation. How detrimental is that going to be? I forget if the Terrier recharges us. When we time warp in the tracking station, it's not going to notice. 
I mean, I think we can do the burn. It's just that after that, we're going to have some power issues. On we go. Nope, uh, the Terrier does not recharge the batteries. So we may surreptitiously keep uh, take advantage of the fact that the game still doesn't keep track of electric charge when you're time warping at the tracking station. That's not my fault, okay? That's just how it is. Well, let me add a correction burn in. Well, looks like we can get pretty close to Kerbin. But that should be alright. Let's start off with that. Um, we could probably do that burn now, but I'll wait. wonder how I managed to forget the solar panels. I must have replaced something. Well, that's suddenly very inclined, but not a problem. We'll take it. It's a good enough periapsis. It's only 34 days. I mean, 24 hour days, but still. Um, how much charge do we actually lose? So, this, uh, day 178, 5 hours, 58 minutes. Let me just time warp for a day. It's, it's actually pretty close. We might actually, if we just straight time warped out, have enough electric charge. Okay, we just made, uh, went into 485, so I'll see when it ticks down to 484. We're at 7 hours 14 minutes. Okay, it just ticked. Okay, so it's about one and a half hours per unit. And so it's, it's, it's not quite there. Unfortunately, we've got 726 hours worth of charge and it's 811 hours back to Kerbin. So it's awful close, but it's not quite enough. Tantalizingly close, but we'll go with the tracking station method. <laughs> My calculations do not bear out that this is going to end well if I try and focus on it. So actually, the pod is now called Eve Mega Station. So we still have the yeah 27 kilometer periapsis. Maybe I should bring it down to 26, but uh, yeah, maybe I should just for safety's sake. 26 has been a good number for us. It's weird that the pods don't even take electric charge with just a Kerbal. Shouldn't have had a little core on here to begin with, I suppose. Well, it'll be dark side that we do our re-entry on. Okay, service module jettison. Well, we've got prodigious ablation going on. And we have captured around Kerbin. And we are firmly suborbital. Okay, We're looking good. Crew looks confident. Serious G-forces on parachute deployment. We got some trees there. And... Alright. Recover vessel. Okay, recovery of a vessel returned from suborbital flight on EVE. Will we... I, I guess at some point we might have accidentally been suborbital on EVE, uh, around EVE, but... I don't recall that that was a permanent situation, like, well, I mean, we didn't dip into Eve's atmosphere in this case. But, okay, we were pretty far away from the KSC, and Bal gained 23 experience points. Those silly tourists got 25. Ready for next assignment. No, <laughs> no, they're not. Anyway, we got the contract done, so that's the important part, and next time... 
We've got some ghillie stuff, but I think we'll switch gears back to Duna. Let's see if there's some new Duna contract. Oh, there's a rescue from Orbit of Eve. Well, as long as it's not the surface of Eve. Um, sure, let's uh, get... I want to encourage rescue contracts to pop up. Explore the sun. Dock two vessels on and around the sun. Rendezvous two vessels. You know, with the... I wonder if... Uh, uh, what you got? A claw... Oh, uh, asteroid manipulation vehicle. Let me call it that. Asteroid capture vehicle. If the asteroid counts as a vessel. In that case, when we grab an asteroid, this will basically be taken care of. Recover this module from orbit of Duna. Well, we're... Already in the recovering modules from orbit of Ike business, so maybe, sure. Position a satellite in an equatorial orbit of Ike. Yeah, sure. Uh, science data from surface of Duna. I guess. I mean, we're doing the Duna Stone and Blueberry stuff. Sure. Orbital station around Ike. 2,000 liquid fuel. Hmm, I don't like the 2,000 liquid fuel necessarily, but... And, but at least it doesn't require a pilot already on board. It's supporting five Kerbals. Okay. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff, and I'll think about how best to package it together. The blueberries, the Duna Stone, recovering modules. They're both the same one, <laughs> we can tell. Uh, that's uh, that's the same thing. Okay, and we have to land on Duna, of course, to get those two, so that's already done there. And then an orbital station around Ike. Well, uh, the vehicle that we use to get these modules could pretend temporarily to be an orbital station around Ike. Also, potentially a satellite around Ike, but it's probably gonna be crude, so we should probably just pop off a separate satellite or something. Maybe the vehicle that grabs the module, like the claw, you know, the claw tug, if you will, could serve as this satellite. It doesn't require anything, it's just an antenna and can generate power, and it just needs to get into that orbit. The problem is the inclination is retrograde, so. That's a minor inconvenience. But okay, we've got a bunch of stuff to do, and we'll see how we do it in the next video. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.